No buttons? How the hell do I fire this thing? What's up, Dave fam? It's Dave back with you from Married to the Mod. Today we're going to be talking about this iStick TC 100 watt mod made by E-Leaf. And as you can see, I figured out how to fire it, and I'm glad I did because it's hitting like a damn champ. But before I get into it, I want to go ahead and talk about Fresh 03. He had me on his live show Wednesday night. It was Fresh 03, Rin Vapes, Hank Vapes, and Gizzard Stew. And what we talked about was some DIY e-juice. So I wanted to go ahead and give a big shout out to them. You know, they're so knowledgeable and they're so helpful. They helped me with the fact of where to get stuff to where to get good products, how to mix it, how to stay safe while doing it. Because I honestly had no idea. It's something that I wanted to get into, but I didn't know where to start really. So yeah, we, we sat down and talked for a long time over a live show, my first live show, and I had a lot of fun. So anyways, big thank you to those guys. Yeah, let's go ahead and get into this mod, though. It's going to fire from 1 watt all the way up to 100 watts. It's going to have temperature control mode in nickel, titanium, and stainless steel. And it's also going to offer three TCR settings. So you can kind of mess with it if you're not happy with their presets in your temperature control mode. Uh, Resistance-wise, you can build all the way down to 0 0.05 or all the way up to 1.5. And then the size of it, 94 millimeters tall, 53 millimeters wide, and 23 millimeters thick. And I just want to say, the first thing I noticed about this thing when I picked it up is how fucking comfortable this thing is. When you put your hand on it, it just kind of makes it want to wrap around. As you can see, it's got these, these kind of curved sides on it so that it's like a, a long, oblong oval there. You just kind of grab it, and it's really, really comfortable. Now, when you fire it, you just simply squeeze it and it's going to fire. I haven't had too many problems with this, but we're going to talk about the pros and cons later. Right now I got this Segeli Moonshot RTA sitting on it, which is a kind of a high wattage type of uh, RTA. And it's hitting like a dream. Yeah, but it's also going to offer some upgradable firmware on it. Dual 18650, but another big benefit is it can also fire it with one single 18650 in it. So instead of just sitting here and talking to you about it, why don't we go ahead and get down low and I'm going to show you everything about it. Let me catch a vape and I'll see you down there. And we're back with you down low with this iStick TC100 watt. As you can see, it says there on the side of the box, E-Leaf over here and over here. And then different colors it comes in. It's going to come in black, white, and this is the gray one. Let's go ahead and open that up. And our mod will sit right there on top. Take that out. You're going to have your user manual. Get to know it. And then a USB cable. And that's basically all that's in that box. Let's put that off to the side. First things first here, let's go ahead and look at the Spring Loaded 510. Is a, I believe it's gold plated. And then let's just take a look at uh, this device. You can see really nice. You can see how it's round and fits in your hand really nice. I'm going to have that USB port right there. Some venting. And then some more venting here. It'll say E-Leaf. iStick TC 100 watt. You're going to have your up, your down button. And I'm going to call this the mode changing button right here. And then this is to lock the firing button. Alright, so the battery doors are going to be right here on the side. They're held in with magnets. Two on, or One on top, one on the bottom there. And there's a battery door on each side. And they are going to be coming out with some different color battery doors. I haven't seen them yet, but I have heard that they'll be out soon. You can see how much room there is there. Looks like they could have shortened it up a little bit. So in the battery sled here, you see a plus symbol. And a minus symbol. This is run in parallel, both positives up. This is going to be your firing button. And that locking mechanism, you can see right there when I move it, you can see it move over. 
And the way it works is you can see these little notches right here. It actually just kind of clicks into place so that you can't push that. Let's go ahead and put some batteries in here. And it turns on with one battery. Like I said, you can run this in single 18650. It's going to say 100 watts on it, but out of, out of one 18650 battery, I think you're only going to get about 75 watts or so at fully charged. All right, five clicks on and off. One, two, three, four, five, and it's off. From the off position, you can rotate the screen by holding the up and down button. There, you can see it rotate. And now, if you hold the down button and the fire button, you'll see the battery voltage come up. Three point nine six, you can see. And if you hold the up button and the fire button, that's where you can get into adjust your TCRs. You're gonna have three of them. The fire button will go between the number and what memory. There's memory two, memory three. And back to one. All right, so five clicks of the fire button. We'll turn it back on. We're back on. Now it reads 100 watts. Let me go ahead and scroll all the way down to one watt just so that you can see how fast it goes. Pretty quick. It's going to have a battery symbol for your battery life, your resistance reading, your voltage reading, and then your watts over here. Now this third button, all you do is press and hold it for three seconds and it'll change the mode. Go into bypass where it cuts the chip out and basically becomes a mech mod. Hold it again and it'll run through nickel, titanium, stainless, and then your memories. One, two, and three, and then back to power mode. All right, so let's go ahead and get into temp mode here. It's going to top off at 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if you click this once, it'll jump around to 100 degrees Celsius, and that'll go all the way up to 315 degrees Celsius. Click it again, and it'll be 200 degrees Fahrenheit, and that can go all the way up to 600. Now, if you want to change your wattage, which is shown right here, you're going to hold this third button. When you hold it, you press down or up to change it, and it doesn't kind of ki it kicks it over here, but only while you're pressing this. So let me go ahead and press this mode button and the down button. And you can see that'll scroll fast. Now there's a little bit of a of a kink in this thing. Watch this. Now if you press up and you hold it, it doesn't scroll fast. I don't know if it's just this one or not. But you have to go by 0.1 increments. And you can see I can get it up there by pressing the 0.1. But if I hold it, it's not going to go. Big problem to me. And like I said, I don't know if it's just this device or if it's with all the chips they've put out. The down works fine, but the up doesn't seem to work. All right, now if you want to go ahead and lock your temperature on this, or let me put it back in power mode and you can lock your actual wattage. Now, if we're going up here, just go up. Let's say we want to keep it right there. You're going to press the up and the down button together. And that's now locked. You can still fire it but the number, your wattage, is going to be locked. Unlock it's the same thing, the up and down button together. Now you can also get into stealth mode here. You press the down button and the fire button. And you're into stealth. That's going to make it so when you fire it, if you had to atomize around it, it wouldn't show you here. Stealth off. So yeah, that's about it. Let's go ahead and uh, jump out, talk about the pros and cons, and then we'll get out of here. All right, guys, so we're back with you up top. I picked this thing up from wetvapes.com. 
They're going for $59.99 right now, which I think is a fair price for what you get here. And we also have that coupon code, which is married, the number two, the mod, all lowercase, no spaces, married to the mod. You'll get 10% off your entire order. Let's go ahead and talk about pros and cons. Pros, number one thing I noticed about this thing the first time I picked it up is how comfortable it really is. It's form fit to your hand. It's not a square or a box or anything like that. It doesn't have 90 degree angles like the X-Cube. Same type of firing that that does. However, it's like a oblong circle or oval, whatever you want to call it. And it really does just kind of form to your hand. You fire it. You just simply squeeze it and you're off. Another thing is that this is a dual 18650 device. However, you can run it in single 18650. Just to have that option is really cool to me. At the same time, there's a con there. I wish they would change their board here so that it would only say 75 watts or so when you have a single battery in there. This way, you're not reading 100 watts with a single battery because we all know that's really not going to happen. And then another pro, every 22 millimeter atomizer I've put on this thing has fit. It's been, you could probably fit a 23 atomizer on here because honestly, there's a little bit of room there to where you wouldn't hang over. Anything larger, you'd probably hang over a little bit. And then the last pro for this is you're going to have upgradable firmware. So in the future here, they're going to come out with some kind of update to it. You're probably going to get more wattage out of it, which is always going to be a pro. Anything that has upgradable firmware is always going to be a pro in my book. Now let's talk about cons. The first con that I found that really sticks out is the thing in the temperature control that I showed you where is if you're scrolling down, you're fine. But when you want to scroll back up, you're going to have you're going to have to go in 0.1 increments because something's up with this chip. And I don't know if it's just this device or if it's with the whole board itself, but you can't have that quick scrolling effect go on with it. And then another con to me is also how you cycle through your different modes. I wish they would just do some kind of menu system. I'm going to say like the reload where you can just three clicks of the fire button and then select if you want nickel, titanium, stainless, you know, whatever you want. With this, if I want to use memory 3, I have to go through all of the settings in order to get to that. That right there is kind of a con to me. I'll, it takes a little bit of time to change. Other than that, this thing is really easy to navigate, in my opinion. And then another con in my book is this rattle. I don't know if you can hear that, but it is there. Now, when I go to take a hit off this thing, I'm not shaking it vigorously or anything like that. And when I move it in my hand, I'm not getting rattled. But if I do want to shake it, I'm going to get some rattle. To some people, that's going to bother. I guess it's a subjective con. And then last but not least, the battery life on this thing, it's a con to me. For some reason, I'm not getting a full day out of two 18650s. With every other dual 18650 device I have, I get a full day out of it. And I vape anywhere from 60 to 90 watts, anywhere from 0.2 to 0.3 ohms. Right now I got 0.29 build in here. I'm running at 4.82 volts with 80 watts. Let me catch a vape. So vaping at about that, I'm getting just under three quarters of a day, just over half a day, I'm going to say. To me, that's a con. I want a full day out of every dual 18650 device I use. And if I don't get it, then I'm going to call it a con. So in the end of the day, the pros outweigh the cons in my opinion. And if you're someone who's vaping from 40 to 60 watts and not pushing the device that you're using to like the threshold where this is a 100 watt device, I'm using it at 80 or 90 watts, that could be a big reason why I'm not getting a full day's battery out of it. But if you're the 40 to 60 type of vapor, this is probably going to be a good device for you. It's going to last you a full day. Another thing is I love the way that the doors change or the batteries change so easily. You just pop it off, pop it on, you're good to go. So I'm going to say I'm going to recommend this device to any vapor who's in the 40 to 60 watt range. You're going to get a good day's vape. You're going to have a decent quality vape, no ramp up time. When you hit that fire button, it's going to fire. And I think that about does it for this one. I want everyone out there to remember, vape together, stay together.